Introduction Since ancient times we have worn fabrics made of natural materials like cotton, hemp, wool and silk. But with the advent of science and numerous inventions, today we can see a wide variety of synthetic fabrics. In this lesson you will study about the general properties of synthetic fibers and their importance in our everyday lives. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Discuss the synthetic fibers and its types Explain the characteristics of synthetic fibers List the various uses of synthetic fibers Give various advantages and disadvantages of the synthetic fibers Now let us join together a number of paper clips. What do you observe? This chain of paper clips is similar to the organization of a polymer. What is a polymer? Here many small units combine to form a large unit known as polymer. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance and is called a monomer. Synthetic fiber is an example of polymer. The synthetic fibers are obtained by chemical processing of petrochemicals. Can you recall the various types of synthetic fibers which you use in your everyday life? Depending upon the types of chemicals used for manufacturing synthetic fibers, they are classified as rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Do you know that rayon is a semi-synthetic fiber having properties similar to that of silk? Can you guess why is it called a semi-synthetic fiber? It is a man-made fiber obtained by chemical processing of wood pulp, which is a natural resource. Do you know that rayon is also known as artificial silk? It is cheaper than silk, but resembles it. It can be woven like silk fibers, and dyed in a wide variety of colors. Rayon can also be mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpets. Do you know what is the first fully synthetic fiber? Oh yes, it is nylon. The very first nylon product was toothbrush with bristles. Can you think why nylon is so popular for making clothes? Well, nylon fiber is strong, elastic, light, lustrous and easy to wash. It is used in making many articles such as socks, ropes, tents, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. Can you guess which fiber is used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing? Yes, it is nylon fiber since it is stronger than even a steel wire. Can you guess just by hearing the word polyester, what is it made up of? As the word polyester comes from words poly and ester, it is clear that it is made up of repeating units of esters. You must have seen people wearing nice polyester shirts and other dresses. Fabrics made of this fiber do not get wrinkled easily, remain crisp and are easy to wash. Have you ever heard of Terry Ling? It is a popular polyester fiber. Terry Ling can also be mixed with natural fibers like cotton or wool to give terricot or terry wool respectively. Terrilene is used extensively in textile industry to make clothes like saris, dress materials, tapestry, etc. Have you ever noticed that your mother always buys pet jars for storing rice, sugar, etc.? Pet is a familiar form of polyester and is used for making bottles, jars, films, wires, etc. To protect us against cold winters, 
we wear sweaters and shawls and use blankets. Do you know that many of these are actually not made from natural wool, though they appear to resemble wool? You would be wondering how these are prepared then. Well, these are prepared from acrylic fibers. These are synthetic fibers made from polyacrylonitrile. Acrylic is lightweight, soft and warm with a wool-like feel. Can you think of any advantage of acrylic fiber over wool? The wool obtained from natural resources is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheaper. Besides this, they are available in a variety of colors. The disadvantages are that the acrylic tends to fuzz easily and that it does not insulate the wearer as well as wool or cashmere. By now you know what makes synthetic fibers more popular than the natural fibers. Let us recall the characteristics of synthetic fibers which make them so popular among us. Because of high strength of synthetic fibers, they can easily bear heavy loads without breaking. These are durable. Fabrics made of these fibers soak less water, hence they dry up quickly. The synthetic fibers do not get easily wrinkled and hence are convenient to wear. The fabric made from synthetic fibers has great elasticity due to which it can be easily stretched. These are less expensive, thus affordable. Fabrics made of these fibers are readily available and easy to maintain. Do you know that besides having many advantages, synthetic fiber have few disadvantages too. Synthetic fibers are mostly uncomfortable to wear during summers since these trap our body heat and do not absorb sweat. Also, we are advised not to wear clothes made of synthetic fibers while cooking in the kitchen or burning firecracker during festivals like Diwali since these easily catch fire and hence are dangerous to wear. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Synthetic fibers are polymers. These are classified as rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic depending upon the types of chemicals used for manufacturing. These dry up quickly, are durable less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. These are used in making many articles like ropes, tents, carpets, bed sheets, containers, bottles, etc. Fabrics made of synthetic fibers can readily catch fire and melt on burning.